today I decided to put together this little fall inspired makeup look you know yellows and browns and you know red so uh, stay tuned on how I got this look and be sure to like and subscribe hi guys first things first we're gonna moisturize using clean and clear dual action moisturizer For primer, we're using the e.l.f. Illuminating Face Primer. And I know on camera it's not really illuminating, but in person, this stuff is everything. Fancy Beauty, y'all! Okay, we're using Fancy Beauty in shade 350. And when I went into Sephora, right, this shade was the darkest shade they had in stock. And I was like, it is fake because it matches me perfectly. I gotta buy it, you know. So, using a damp Brill Technique sponge, we're blending out this Fancy Beauty foundation. And this stuff feels so nice, so lightweight. I love it. And like always, we're using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown to fill in our brows. For concealer, I'm using NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger. I'm using this to conceal my brows and also conceal the rest of my face, you know, um, underneath my eyes, my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and my, what else, and my eyelids. Using this e.l.f. blurring brush, I'm just blending my chin and my forehead for no particular reason. Just because I like doing those parts with a brush, I feel like it's easier to me. Going in with the Real Technique sponge and blending the rest of my concealer except my eyelids because I blended last because I set it first. Using Ellie Girl Pro Concealer and Beautiful Bronze, I'm going to kind of contour slash bronze, bring a little color back to my face using this concealer. And then blending it with the Real Technique sponge. Make sure we take it up to our foreheads because that is the key to contouring. Now we're blending on the concealer on our eyes and setting it with the Cody Airspun Translucent Face Powder. Using a dry real technique sponge, just setting our eyelids first because they crease first, and then setting everywhere where we highlighted. I'm using Bare Minerals Bare Pearl Powder Foundation in the shade Clove and an angled contour brush to set the concealer we use to contour and underneath our chin. Wiping away all that translucent powder, we will reapply it underneath our eyes to catch the fallout later.
And using the Bare Minerals Powder Foundation, I'm just um, contouring my nose really quickly. I already did one eye, but we're using the same powder foundation as a transition color and putting that on our lids, just sweeping it. Then in this Tarte palette, we're using the shade Doodle, which is like a reddish brown color and putting that on top of the powder foundation as like a second transition color. This is actually the brush that came with the Subculture palette and I'm using the fluffy side and the shade Fudge to put in our outer corner of our eye and taking it towards the middle of our eye, making sure everything is blended. Using the other side of the brush in the shade Rowdy in the Subculture palette, I'm just focusing that in really in the outer corner of my eye. And then using the NARS concealer, um, I used the applicator at first when I went in with this small BH um, brush to kind of shape it out. And then blending that. In the BH Cosmetics 2nd Edition palette using this yellow color, we're just going to pack that on where we put the concealer, really pack it on. And then use the shade Doodle to blend it out. Using the Maybelline Master Duo Eyeliner, I'm putting a liner but without a wing. Tight lining with the regular pencil eyeliner and also putting eyeliner on the bottom and kind of like really messy kind of smudging it out. Using the same brush we used for the shade Rowdy, I'm dipping it in the shade Doodle and smudging it out. Using Milani's highlighter and strobe light, putting where we put the highlighter on our cheekbones, our brow bones, our nose, cupid bow, chin, forehead, all the places where we highlight. Then using Kiko's Cosmetics Eyeshadow in shade 208, I'm putting that on top of where we put the highlighter. Using NYX Lip Liner in Espresso, I'm lining my lips and kind of filling them in a little bit. Then going in with Max Lipstick and Persistent. I also put on lashes off camera. Um, the lashes I use are in the description box. So that's the end of this fall inspired makeup look. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media accounts. Um, more videos will be coming soon because you know we only get better.